I haven't given you an update on some of the bigger beef cows at the other farm. That calf was just born today. It's actually my dad's cow. This is one of ours. That's Ginger. This little calf, this little bull calf that was born the other day. Here. That's a big Ferdinand behind us, mine. And then Holly, the black Angus there. Look at this little, we have a video on this little calf. She's growing up beautiful. Well, good beautiful morning welcome to the max uh, if you are new to the channel please subscribe ring the bell and uh, we always have something fun going on here at the homestead uh, if you are a returning watcher thank you for returning and watching uh, but first we have to water our greenhouse and it's supposed to storm today so I'm gonna actually um, try to get the silage tarp down uh, on the the pea beds that were there that if you know of course that the cool has hurt and also I've got to fertilize uh, so it's an organic fertilizer I'm gonna put beside it so those can come on up we grow more of a baby green so it's um, I can't wait to eat them they're gonna be good uh, I want to give you an update though on the lettuce we'll show you that uh, I gotta get the, the hose first though but you see how overcast it is a beautiful day I love days like this especially when it's fall and the leaves are down um, and winter, of course, is coming, and it's just fun. There's the roosters. The bachelor pad, that's what that's called. The bachelor pad. Look at the meat birds. Meteor as ever. I'll tell you this story right quick. I was like, man, I'm not getting used to this fence. You know, I got the charger up here. I was like, man, this thing should be popping like, you know, something like what a cow would need. And I just couldn't get it to hit. All of a sudden, I, I grounded my ground rod a little bit deeper and changed my hook around when I turned, I hooked the hook and I said, I'm gonna test it. And I used this little cheap tester and man, that thing lit me up. Like it blew, it like my own butt. Like, I yelled, Aiden thought it was really funny. I was like, yeah, it's working now. So man, I dare something to try to get in it now because it will blow them away. I'm scared if one of the chickens touch it, they'll turn into a rotisserie already. So it is uh it's June right now. So let's get the uh water. Pigs are doing good this morning. The little baby pigs are they're growing. So we're gonna actually the only reason we have not moved them yet is because they're still so small and we're scared to put them out here and you know just the risk of it. So we are gonna move them. We're just trying to get them a, get, a, get them a little bit bigger. And uh, they're used to it, so I believe they'd follow a bucket all the way there. If not, though, i got some pig fence I can put around it. Uh, but we've got the charger. Everything's ready. It's just, man, I just don't know. All right, we're fixing to water our lettuce, but look how good our lettuce is doing. The grow bag lettuce. That's starting to all hang out right there. You can tell it just needs, I'm going to give a good water on it. I may do a light fertilization on it. I've got some organic uh, hummus. That I could put in it, and I might just try to do that just to give it a little bit better quality growth there. Um, but it's doing really good, I'm real pleased with it so far. Alright, watering's done. What is cool though, it's, it's, I think this is December 1st that we're actually filming this. Look at this, look at our oranges. Now, this is no of course, we do not own a big orange orchard or even our citrus really doesn't do well in the south in Mississippi, but how cool is it that they grow oranges in December in a greenhouse? Got three beautiful oranges. I mean, that was huge. And then here, look at all the lemons. This is like a this is like a miniature lemon tree, so it doesn't grow monster ones, but we grow, I mean, look at all of them. Doing great. There's probably 30 or 40 lemons so okay so 
Uh, we got the greenhouse finished. Uh, got the coarse milking done this morning. We are going to go ahead and move uh, the cows over, like I said, get them over to um, to uh, the far, one of the further paddocks, one of the temporary fencing paddocks. They've been in that field that they're in for about a week, week and a half. There's still some grass, but it's rye grass, and I'm trying to let it just thrive. So I don't want them to eat it down. It's got a heavy thing of leaves on it, so it's it's in good shape uh, for composting, also with all the manure. So I'm gonna go ahead and before they just eat it down, I'm gonna go and move them again. Uh, some of the ryegrass paddocks on the other side are doing okay. So I'm gonna move them to one of those. It's supposed to storm today. Uh, so I wanna get them moved before it starts storming. It's actually not that chilly. I took my big jacket off and my big coveralls off I had from milking this morning. Also that, one well, of my flannel jackets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, have this little vest on, but it's supposed to, after this rain, it's supposed to get cold. So let's go ahead and get everything ready for them moving before I open the gates over there. I've got to open the gates over here. Isn't this time of year so pretty? Uh, I love the cloudiness. I know it's just rain, which I love rain. I can't, and I love storms on the farm. As long as all the animals are safe, I actually love when it rains. So it's just so pretty out here. All the leaves falling. I used to get mad when all the leaves covered up my grass for the fields, but now the more I see deep bedding and trying to make your fields better and trying not to disc them and till them under, it's gotten to where I just, it actually helps our helps our grass. So I'm not complaining and the cows eat around the leaves and, and their manure plus rotten leaves makes for a good spring grass coming up. But we're getting uh, all these fields open. You can see this is that the summer plot we didn't plant. It's actually got some green grass growing back through it, but I'm gonna let them run through this paddock because it's still got fresh manure on it just from a few weeks ago. So I don't want, they're not fresh, but it's just got manure on it. So I, I want that to just go back into the ground after this rain. I'm not gonna let them stay back in here. I don't want them to hurt this paddock. So we're gonna go to this paddock over here, or I might just take them all the way over. So the one over there seems to be looking better. So I may go to it first and then work their way back around. So, so when we move them that far, that, that paddock and rotation move, it's about, you go through about eight or seven, or eight, seven paddocks. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, go through seven paddocks to get to the furthest one on this side. So it's a pretty good mo move. Uh, I usually do it by myself. Aiden may help me today, but uh, I think we'll be able to move it good. I'm gonna try to get, we've not moved the chickens yet uh, into the permaculture section just because the crazy weather. And to be honest, we just hadn't had time. We've been focusing on the meat chicken. So we may even get those moved sometime over the, this video or the next vlog because uh, we got today pretty much planned out. So let's um let's get this last one open and then we'll go and move the cows. Just a little update. The little baby greens are doing great. It's about five or six rows. They're really starting to come up really, really good. So I'm real pleased with that. Alright, we've got the straight single strand here. Aiden's pulled the ranger over, already got the water ready to go hey you closed the back up didn't you you like the gate do you like the gate back okay all right well let's go get them aiden if you will stand over there look over there so that way when they come on through they won't try to go out okay all right Can go ahead and just go ahead and get their water out? uh no because we'll haul it over there and then we're gonna move some hay okay. we're gonna put them in that far paddock you can move we got to move some uh some hoses so we got to take the hoses back to the well all right, so let's go ahead and get them moving. All the animals, I love walking through the animals. Look, both sets of chickens, both sets of pigs, meat birds, the bachelor coop. They all start going straight towards you because they know it's almost feeding time. Aiden's just to feed them uh, breakfast. So. A little missing, look.
What's left of breakfast? Did you enjoy your breakfast? All right. Who's been cleaning it? Do we have somebody clean that up? Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been going on while I'm outside? Ta-da! Got fresh butter. Thank you, Allie. <laughs> made butter this morning. We made um, our scoby for our kombucha. And we've been cooking breakfast. So what's left over here? Oh, that's the... What's it called? It's totally left <laughs> The byproduct of milk. I know, but there's a and name butter. for it. Whey. Whey. It's the whey. The whey. The whey. What do we do with that whey? Give that way to our pigs, and they really like it. They go crazy. So, all right, let's go finish chores. I gotta leave mommy alone so we can go out here and work. Now, you can see there's a lot of green grass still in here, but there's a lot of leaves. Now, you don't see piles of manure just because it's got leaf coverage, and also I didn't leave them in here long. But now, because these leaves are here, <clears throat> because it's this in the rain, because I still have a good green grass underneath here, and it's got fresh manure and some old hay that I've just taken and kind of scattered in some of the rough areas. This will help this paddock thrive. Now, I used to, I mean, I did. I used to get so stressed out when all these leaves would be on here, thinking, well, the cows can't get to the feed and it's not gonna let the grass grow. To me, when these, these leaves make this, basically this, bio, this biomass, and also make it where, you know, they start just really helping the soil. They become a new layer of soil. So I think it actually helps the ground even more. It's, it's made this paddock more fertile over the last year and a half uh, our last three seasons at least um but uh i mean you see there's still tons of grass underneath here but i wanted to pull them off before they ate it all down but it's good that there's piles of leaves on here and then again this this fence will start storming so basically the rain on this they won't be back over here for at least another probably six weeks so by six weeks this grass will look really good and we'll do an update on it when we come back Start raining or actually it's starting to sprinkle now so we're going to get the hay unloaded we got all the cows moves as you, as you saw uh, but we've got some hay to get rid of and put over here for them that way they have rye grass and also some hay to eat uh, like I've said in past videos I don't want them just eating rye all the time I would like them to have some hay and they like this hay so I'm gonna put this out for them and then that way we will finish up for the day thank you again for watching the max um, we always seem to have something going on and we like to vlog it so if there's anything you'd like to see more of, let us know. Um, as you've seen, we've got other cows. Uh, we'll tag them in this video or in the next video so you can see them because we got to do some, some work with them. There's some new babies up there as well. So we'll be doing some uh, filming of them. Uh, again, we've got to move the hens over and got to get the pig water in and got to move the pigs over soon in the next few weeks. So got a lot of things still to go on. Uh, we have kind of had a lot of videos on the meat chickens and, uh, and Allie and the new calf, Josie. So uh, we'll have some other videos on some other animals coming up very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we hope you're enjoying our content. If you're not subscribed to the Max, please do. Uh, if you're subscribed and you're watching, thank you so much. I, I hope that you'll keep on watching, comment. We love sharing our life with you. And again, share us with other people. That way we could grow our show. Uh, thank you so much again for watching. God bless you. And happy homestead, y'all.